What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. I am Mike Dolce, your host, here to bring you the most honest, actionable, and evidence-based information. Today, I am answering one of your questions regarding body weight versus barbell exercises when attempting to do the push pull workout we spoke about in this video right here. So I'm going to bring you all that information in hopefully four minutes or less. And I ask you, if I give you good information, give the video a thumbs up and possibly subscribe to the channel as we battle back against the YouTube algorithm, trying to get back into the, well, just back into your feed. So you see uh, our notifications when we bring you this bomb ass content. Now, straight to the conversation. What do you do? And one of our listeners, let me read you the question right here. Um, Zlatan the Rogue says, how can I do the push-pull legs with only resistance and terabands, which are, or resistance loops and also kettlebells? Great question. And I'm going to distill this down for everybody here right now so you can all wait, walk away with honest, actionable, evidence-based information to dramatically add value to your life in real time barbells dumbbells kettlebells weighted bags med balls doesn't matter 40 pound jugs of poland spring water doesn't matter axles from vehicles doesn't matter elastic bands terabands trx bands gymnastics rings doesn't matter body weight centric only doesn't matter push pull legs is pushing muscles pulling muscles and then lower body leg muscles that's a, a, a good um name for that lower body movement upper body push upper body pull lower body right push pull legs we're training movements not specific muscles the muscles are trained with uh, within the multi-joint compound movement so let's say you only have access to your body. Well, that's fine. How many body weight squats can you bang out? How many rear lunges can you drop and do? How many side over under hurdles can you do? How many high box step ups can you do? Stair stadium lunges can you do? Plyo taps. How many of those can you do? Well, that's legs, right? That's lower body. Upper body, how many different push-ups can you do? How many push-up variations can you do? Can you do a bridge push-up? Can you do a half handstand push-up, a full handstand push-up? Can you keep your toes on the edge of your bed, on your bed, your whole leg on your bed, fully supported, and just slowly push yourself the two or three inches into a modified handstand position, slowly walking your feet farther to the edge of the bed, adding more downward resistance on those shoulders, push, pull legs again. So the point is, let's get creative here. Let's have fun. Now, if you're interested, go to my online coaching page at thedolcediet.com. I offer personal coaching through really cool technology, async technology, as we call it, it's coaching technology, where you and I can talk in near real time, send videos and photos, and I'll send you the exact workouts in our database. I have over 200 specific unique exercises in our video catalog, and I'll just text them over to you. So if you're interested in personalized coaching, go to the dolcediet.com, click on the online coaching tab, and all the information you need is there. But the body weight is the mentality. Push-ups are easy. Pull, man, pull up, chin up. Like you can do chin-ups under your kitchen table as long as your kitchen table is sturdy and well-supported. Don't take any, you know, struggles, but just go under your kitchen table, backhand grip it or overhand grip it and do a chin-up that way. If that's all you have, I'm saying if that's all you have, well, let's do that. There's a, go to the local playground on your quote pull day. Tons and tons of apparatus. You can pull, you can chin, you can row, you can do a lot of things. So the answer is get creative. Now, if we have implements, weighted implements, take a backpack, uh, go to Kmart, go to Walmart, get one of those like badass, not no frills, hunk of canvas, hunk of burlap type backpacks. Bring it home, throw a bunch of weights in it, books into it, whatever you can find that adds a little bit of weight and a little bit of heft to it, throw that in there. Take a, a, a torn up soccer ball, easy one that we do, get a torn up soccer ball, throw a bunch of rocks into it, wrap it in a, a couple stripes of duct tape. That's easily a five, 15, 25 pound weighted implement. 
goblet squats and over the shoulders got really creative. So I'm just, I'm just word vomiting on you to give you a bunch of ideas. Cause I'm sure you're like, Oh yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Run that in that push pull leg format. Now, maybe you're training more for time under tension, 30 second sets, instead of counting specific reps, do whatever you can do to move those chains forward to make progress. And then when you have the chance to train in the gym, a local YMCA, your uncle, your buddy's place, um, you know, a, a free workout at a local gym. Most gyms will give you a free workout or a free week pass. Get those once or twice a month at different varied global gyms in your area. Easy way to, to gym hack. And I, I teach on this also. I'll do a video on that one too. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, I appreciate you guys for being here. And until next time, boom.